We'll be comparing three violins under $100 from Amazon.com. The three are Mindini Full Size MV300, Bailando Full Size Starter Kit, and Paititi Full Size Starter Kit. We'll be testing for sound quality, ease of playing, workmanship, and accessories. Let's start with the sound quality. First, we'll hear a piece that every beginner gets to play at some point in their study. We're testing for how pleasant the sound is, especially the open strings on A and E. Next, we'll make sure the sound is even across the different strings. Now we'll focus on the low and high notes to check if they sound clear and focused. Here are my scores for sound quality with five being the best. Next is ease of playing. Here we're testing for clarity of notes when playing fast passages, especially during string crossings and bow changes. Listen if the violin responds to every note that is being played. Here are my scores for ease of playing, 5 being the best. Next is workmanship. Let's check for alignment and seams.
Pretty violin seemed especially lacking in workmanship, and the other two seemed decent. However, Paititi bow was the most balanced, meaning it wasn't too top or bottom heavy. If it's too top or bottom heavy, you will have more difficulty controlling your bow. Bailando was a tad too bottom heavy, and Mendini was too top heavy. Lastly, we'll review the accessories that came with the violin as starter kits. For shoulder rests and shin rests, we'll make sure they are comfortable and sturdy. For the rest of the accessories, such as strings, rosins, and tuners, we'll review whether they are of good quality. For pegs and fine tuners, we'll make sure the screws and pegs turn easily and the pegs tend to stay in place. Most of the accessories were of comparable quality. The differences I found were the fine tuners and pegs for Mendini being much smoother to turn than the other ones, and its strings holding the tune much better. It's important to remember that although what we have heard today may help you choose the right violin online, there could be inconsistencies in quality even among the same brand and model, especially for smaller sizes because it is more difficult to build a nice sounding small violin. Also remember that violin is a very personal choice. At the end of the day, you have to feel comfortable playing it. A good way to test different violins yourself would be to go to a local violin store or try the rental route. And hopefully this video will help you test the different violins in a more structured way. That's it and happy playing!